YouTube, what's up? This your man, Big D Production 100. I got a great video for you guys today. Today in this short video, I will be showing you guys some easy steps on how you can delete problem files from your trash. Now, from time to time, we may get those files that's in our trash can that just don't want to delete. And believe me, that shit can be so frustrating, it can just drive you crazy. And you gotta like reboot your Mac or whatever just to delete some files that's in your trash. But in this video, I'm about to show you guys some other ways to do that. So first we're gonna start by just putting one item in the trash can. Now what you wanna do is, the first step I will show you guys, if you got locked items in your trash can, you're going to need to delete them using some type of force delete command. So what you wanna do is, you wanna simply just hold down control, command, and you wanna hover over to your trash can here. Now once you get there, you wanna right click. When you right click, you should see a little dialog box that pops up and it should state, secure empty trash. Just click on that and everything should delete. Okay, that's that. Now, it's another way you can do that as well. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drag that to the trash can. Now, another way you can always go up to your finder, go down to securely empty trash. But I showed you guys how to do that in my last video, which is the same thing. It's the same thing as far as holding down control and command and right clicking, but it's just a more fast and simple, easier way to do it. Now, another problem that we may have from time to time is when your Mac say that you don't have permissions to delete the file. So let me show you here. I'm gonna start by opening up my finder here. We're gonna to go to applications. All right, now let's just say, okay, uh, we have an application that's in here that we wanted to delete. Such as, um, let me find one, okay, tic-tac-toe. I'm gonna delete that. Now let's just say if we didn't have permissions to delete this file and we tried to trash it and it give us like a little dialog box and say that you don't have permission to delete this blah, 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 you don't wanna hit that. It's your application, it's your Mac, you wanna get rid of it. What you wanna do is you wanna simply just click on get info. Now once you go to get info, you wanna click that box into your password, of course. Like so. Now right here where it says system, that may say read only. Just change it to read and write. Now once you do that, you can then, if I can just lock this, okay, there we go. You can then delete that file into your password again. Like so. Hello, now. Okay, no, we don't want to install right now. Again, you just want to hold down control and command and right click and securely empty trash. That's all you want to do, okay? Now, like I said, that was the second way of how you can delete items and that was just for if you didn't have permissions to delete that item and it was still causing problems and everything and it wasn't letting you delete that file or application or whatever it was that was on your Mac. Now, last but not least, if a program is still, I mean, it's just still causing problems and you still can't delete it, it's just on your desktop or in your trash and it's just driving you crazy because you've done everything and you like, you know what, you don't know what else to do. You're like, you, you're, you're about to rip your hair off if you have any hair. Like me, unfortunately, I'm bald. But if you have hair and you're about to rip your hair out because you can't get this item to delete, it may just be that the real issue is that you've got a program open that is still using that application. So now let's just say you're trying to delete it and uh, you can't. So what you can do is you can try closing down any of the apps that are running in the background of a course and then you can try to delete the file again. Now if that doesn't work what you want to do is after that, you want to go up to your Apple and you just want to go to where it says log out. You want to log out, restart your Mac, and when you log back in, the file that's in your trash can, just simply right click and empty trash. Or again, if you just wanted to do the control, command, and right click, you can always do that. Now, I do recommend to all of my customers that come into the Apple store when I'm at work or whatever, or to just family members and friends, I always recommend that when you're trying to delete something, it's always best to do a secure delete because that not only deletes that item that you deleted, but it also deletes any files that's left behind that came along with that file or picture, like with the one I just deleted. It was just one image that I downloaded from the website, which was like some type of UFC fighting picture. But if you notice, let me show you one second. I'm going to do it again because that was kind of quick. Let me uh, do this real quick. Okay, we're just going to grab this again. I'm going to drag that to the desktop like so. Close it. All right, now you see that's just one image. So we're going to delete that. But when I hold down Control and Command and right click and do it securely, you see it says items to delete. Four items. So it was three other items that came along with that file 
that you may not have known about that was just on your desktop. So when you empty trash, make sure you always do a secure delete because that gets rid of everything. This is your man, Big B Production 100. I sure hope you guys found this video very informative. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Holla at you.